Hey, I'm pretty uh, happy to tell you about a 1957 Fender Deluxe Amp I just uh, picked up a couple weeks ago. Um, this speaker was replaced in 1964 or 65, and it's got the original or the price tag on it, $9.95. This is a Jensen. The original must have blown out, but uh, I've got a 1957 Jensen lined up to put in here, so it will be pretty good. Uh, the uh, exterior was stripped. Here's the original can uh, handle. Here's what the tweed looked like. I've got the back panel out in the garage that's got uh, asbestos on it. So we uh, I put some different output tubes in. Here's probably the original preamp tubes. There's your speaker out. I'm not that technical about the workings of an amp, but I know this is a holy grail kind of amp. Uh, I did use it last Saturday and it was just wonderful. I played it in a bar and just cranked it on 10 and uh, it was perfect. So the controls on these are, well, from what little I know, uh, there's your guitar input, this is your mic input, um, here's your volume for the instrument, volume for the mic, and these interact some mysterious way. Here's your tone control, ground, which is hopefully won't need that original handle you can see these cool finger jointed corners and then the original handle let's just flip it around so we're thinking about retweeting it get some new tweet on there and age it to match the other the remaining original here's our fender deluxe Fullerton, California badge, which looks like it was riveted in. Oh heck, let's take a look at the side. It's just great. Right from Leo F Fender's uh, factory. <laughs> Leo Fender's factory. I don't know, whatever. It's kind of a nice, kind of a shame to cover it up, really, but... Well, heck, let's plug it in. So, yeah, I gotta get that speaker in, and uh, I've got a replacement handle I'm gonna put on, keep the old one, of course. Just hit the power, and I'm not gonna crank it up too much because it will just obliterate the camera and my ears, so we'll just do a little bit of sound checking it just sounds like a fender amp you know it, but it's it's got some magic <laughs> set at uh, about halfway up turn it up just a teeny bit so it's got that thumpy Marshall kind of quality idea so I guess John Lennon used one of these when the Beatles played in Hamburg Germany in the early 60s I think that's 60 61 to 62 I don't know and uh, so that's pretty important Neil Young is famous for using one of these and uh, they're just super famous amps that uh, I was wanting to uh, have one at some point and one came up locally and this is the one so I'm, 
made a move on it and uh what do you think should i put uh should i retweet it or leave it natural that's kind of hard isn't it what do you think i'll definitely get the replacement speaker and handle just so i can preserve the original handle but uh it's going to be a lot of fun i'll play this for as long as i can i would hate to have to sell it but you never know it's just stuff but it is cool stuff and that's part of part of life i guess so thanks for checking out the video please subscribe